Hello everyone, sorry I haven't had a tutorial for a long time now and this tutorial is going to be on Microsoft Excel and I'm going to show you how to record a macro and assign it to a button so first you're going to need the develop tab if you don't have that go to file then click on options go to customize ribbon and check the developer tab and click OK after that click on the developer tab and the macro I want to do I need to delete these minutes so they're ready for the next year so click on record macro give it a name, I'm just going to do clear extra minutes and I've used an underscore instead of a space because when you record a macro it does not accept space in the name and a shortcut key is just the letter that you want to control plus that letter to access this macro for example control s saves and the description is just what it does this clears the extra minutes column and then click OK. Now we are recording our macro. So I'm just going to select this and press delete on my keyboard. And then click on stop recording and I've done it. I've finished recording my macro. If you click this, you can check all the macros on your workbook. So here is mine. If I click cancel and then do undo, you should see that my macro stays as is. Now, let's go and insert and in form controls I want to insert a button and I'm just going to draw it over here now I'm going to insert, uh, sorry I'm going to assign the macro to it I want it to clear extra minutes and then click OK and now if I right click on it because I don't want to run the macro and then go to edit text I can change it to clear extra minutes column and now if I click it, the extra minutes column used is now empty. This concludes our macros tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe.